Wait. I get that he's trying to like compliment this, but why is it like, oh yeah, if you want a black person to portray to portray a, a character, put him in, in the black community. Why? why? Like, I, I just don't understand why that's like the limit they go to. Let's take a look at this. It will be subconsciously felt by other members of the group. So, for example, calling me a misogynist when I was just stating biological facts on. Wait, is this Metatron? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, Metatron is. Oh, no. Okay. Sexual dimorphism, the physical difference between men and women, is actually pretty bad. Luckily, intelligent people will bypass appearances and see it for themselves that they are in the presence of a misuse of the term. That is the reason why I personally very much resent it when people resort to quick labeling, basing it on you don't agree with me. Disliking black Achilles does not make me a racist. Stating on average women are physically- Okay, sure, but making that the line you draw is still a little bit sussy-wussy. Physically weaker than men does not make me a misogynist. Oh, I actually do like Metatron. That's- I think Metatron is generally a pretty good YouTuber. Why do we think that people from Africa is bad and the Viking was worse? You need to restate that, I, I'm not sure I understand. Stating a gay scene in a movie was out of place for that specific movie or storyline does not automatically make me a homophobic. <laughs> I love the, the little pause. Wait, I'm gonna have to... Do this in normal speed. That specific movie or storyline does not automatically make me a homophobic. Ah, oh, that was a bit too long of a pause there, homie. Anyway. But is this blackwashing history, Troy, in the BBC cartoon bunking? A similar situation. The problem is that on this cartoon you don't have one dark-skinned man as a Roman centurion, which would not have been a typical sight, for sure, but could have happened. The problem with this cartoon is that you have in almost every shot a black guy. Just like I said before, it's an obsession. Juxtap Wait! What? Why would that be a problem? The Roman Empire was huge, and there were people from all over the world and... I'm sorry, I'm not an historian, so I can't really be commenting too much on this, but I know that the Roman Empire was enormous. And, you know, it spanned into Africa with Egypt, so... Why would this be definitely not happening? I'm, I'm not 100% sure I can agree with this. I would have to see historians or or um Oh okay so the bunker white and black white and black all the time black Roman officer and he's a good guy black Roman soldier he's also a good guy black kid so wait by white slaves the only white officer is the legato so is clearly evil The problem I have is that I see it as an obsession. They are blackwashing history, no doubt about it. Again, mark my words, it surely did happen and it could have happened that you had a black Roman soldier as the Roman Empire was indeed multi-ethnic, multicultural. We can't say to what extent, of course, as that would vary depending on where you look in the empire, but keep in mind that Northern African population does not have the hue of black that we see in this- Wait, that doesn't matter! Does he think that Africans inside of the continent of Africa didn't move around as well? Cartoon. That's more of a central sub-Saharan African hue. So what this is doing, the message this No, it doesn't matter because people from sub-Saharan Africa has also been moving around. That doesn't that doesn't mean that everyone in the Roman Empire like like, does he believe that no one from Sub-Saharan Africa came to Egypt at any point before, like, modern times? ...is teaching is 
In Roman Britain, there were black Central African people all over the place. It was normal to have mixed families with Central African black officers all over the place. Slaves were white, which to me is an insult to what so many black slaves had to endure, actually. Not saying that it Wait, there were white slaves, though. All slaves are white in the cartoon. I, I, I can't know anything about that specific thing, but there were white slaves as well. It didn't happen, but I'm just saying, now you can't show a black slave because it's so insulting. No, it's the truth and it should be said because it was a terrible thing. Most notified black people on record was... Yeah. And? And it should not be hidden. But of course the reply that they give you is, if you don't like it, you're a white supremacist, misogynist, racist scum. And of course... But many are proved to be Norwegian because well, it just used to be Vikings. But Vikings... Well. Yeah, and the, the thing is, like, you can find people from a lot, a lot of parts in the world as well that have, like, Nordic blood or DNA, I guess, in them because, you know, People traveled around. Million kingdoms, and yes, there are very big black yeah, kingdoms, but there was a big desert dividing Northern Africa and Central Africa. That doesn't mean that people weren't traveling. My whole point is that there were people probably traveling north. Egypt used to be like an empire. So, so it doesn't make sense. Like, it's like saying, like, oh, the first African person probably came, you know, or um, Central African person probably came to Europe, like, in the 60s, because that seems like the, the, the um, logical thing to me. Well, sorry, but people have been traveling across the world for as long as we've been humans. Like, maybe Romans didn't cross it, but Egyptians might have. And people from southern parts of Africa might have traveled north to to visit the, the kingdom of Egypt, I guess. So, so, I know that he is an historian, but he seems like he has an agenda with this video. Um, and also historians might also have like their perspectives he might be right and you know he has um he he has a greater uh, uh education in history than i do but it just seems weird to me that this is where people would draw the line there should be black vikings i understand well I, should or shouldn't be i don't really care that's my point like I think it's weird to have such a hang up, uh, hang up about art, especially like when there's something like Troy, which is, to my understanding, is it a movie? Or like, where does this person, Troy and BBC cartoon. A lot of people are going to tell me that, regardless of the fact that I actually have a lot of African friends. Oh God. In other words, we humans have evolved and survived because we stick together. And natural selection demonstrated that lone wolves don't make it. So as a result, we perceive it as evil and bad anything that prevents yeah, no, he's a and see it for themselves that they are in the presence of a misuse. Black Achilles does not make me a racist. Stating on average, women are physically weak. Wait, is it talking Ethiopian about Ethiopian black warriors who are part of the story, but everybody ignores? Okay, wait a If I said I didn't like black Achilles because I don't like black people, that would be racist. But just saying I don't like black Achilles is my right, and it does not make me into a racist automatically. Even well, yeah, it depends on your argument. And then I also complained about Romans being represented by English actors, and I'll get back to that. People who told me, no, you don't like him just because he's African, should keep watching. If by the end of this video they still think that, they probably don't speak English.
Now I'm going to ask myself a question. Ralph, why don't you like Black Achilles? Two reasons. Number one, for the same reason I wouldn't like an elf without pointy ears, or a tall dwarf, or a white Genghis Khan. Absolutely ridiculous. They don't fit with how the character is supposed to look. Ghost in the Shell with... Who decides how Achilles is supposed to look? Scarlett Johansson? Equally a big no-no for me. So am I against all actors who portray a character from a foreign country? No. Making all cases equal is also wrong, and I'm not going to do that. There are some foreign actors who, if I saw in the middle of the street tomorrow, I would not recognize as foreigners right away. I would if they were from Japan or Africa. That's a fact. On the same note, I think John Wayne as Genji Scan is absolutely moronic. But Craig Parker as a Roman is fine, because he looks very similar to an Italian, even though he's from New Zealand. I have no problems with him there. Saying that mm. I have to complain about him anyways, and saying that he's just as different to your everyday Italian than an Africa from Congo, is just not true. And it's not fair. And I stand for the truth. If you want to have black actors playing roles of main characters in TV series, do what they did at Marvel and set them, for instance, in Harlem. Heck, Cottonmouth is one of the coolest guys I've ever seen on screen, or better. If Wait. I get that he's trying to, like, compliment this, but why is it like, oh, yeah, if you want a black person to portray, to portray a, a character, put him in, in the black community. Why? why? Like, I, I just don't understand why that's, like, the limit they go to. It's the same thing with the people uh, talking about uh, criticizing Vikings. It's like a show about Ragnar Lothbrok, a a person that is quite probably a mythical person that never existed, or Achilles, a person that doesn't exist or never existed, but uh, uh, interacting with like historical people. That's they're they're fine with that. They're fine with that, but the second someone is of the wrong ethnicity, I'm just saying that that's a weird place to put the line. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. He said that he likes Luke Cage, but he also said like, oh yeah, they should be set in somewhere like Harlem. Why should they be set in somewhere like Harlem? set them for instance in Harlem. Heck, cotton yeah. characters in TV series do what they did at Marvel and set them for instance in Harlem. Heck Why? Why is that important? Don't change Genghis Khan into white or Achilles into black. Like because that fits here. But uh, Heck, cotton Oh my god. god. I'm gonna have a stroke from this. Achilles isn't an historical figure. He he's fiction. It's just like the black elves with the new with the new uh Harry, no not Harry Potter Jesus, uh, Lord of the Rings thing. I don't care. Why should I? Like like, I can't see a single reason why I have to care about the ethnicity of these characters, when they are portrayed as fictional depictions of either fictional characters or fictional versions of re of uh, uh, historical people like holy shit no one has been reacting uh, for for uh, this way about like white jesus for like the like that that's a recent thing that people are starting to be like hey isn't weird that jesus is white in most images for most of the time, people didn't give a shit. And I can tell you one thing. Jesus was not white. <laughs> so yeah, I, I just think it's weird. I, I think it's a weird place to draw the line. I I don't know. I don't much care what our past was. Okay, so you say you surrender, but you, you keep being like snarky about it. I never said you shouldn't care about what the past is. I'm saying... Drawing the line about ethnicity in, for example, a TV show that blends uh, uh, history with, with fiction. I'm just saying that ethnicity is a weird place to draw that line. Like, uh, take the movie Gods of Egypt. A lot of people reacted to the fact that all of the gods were depicted by a bunch of white people. I don't care. 
I don't care if they were depicted by white people. I care that the movie fucking sucked. <laughs> Heimdall in, in the Thor movies are depicted by Idris Elba, like I said. He does a good job in those movies. Why should I, like, be bothered by his skin color? Oh yeah, because Heimdall wasn't historically white. Well, Heimdall isn't an historical person. He's fiction. And yeah, if you want if you want to see like bronze Achilles, if that's super important to you, then fucking read the the Iliad. Is that the one he's the main character of? Like Is he is he is he described? Is his skin color described in in that book? Like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Did did you by the way, have you heard about Hamilton? Like the the musical. Sorry about that. Just like history, if it's a historical thing, they could find actors that fit in the time or history. That's it. <sighs> I I mean they could. But they could also do something different. One of the coolest guys I've ever seen on screen, or better, if this really was, as they basically put it, a way to be fair and stop having protagonists played only by white guys, then make a whole series taking place in Africa. Tell us why the rich African history. Tell us about the Zulu, their leaders, their heroes, their gods. Oh yeah, okay. So this part I actually agree with. Like, they should tell those stories as well. But why should it be like, oh yeah, and by the way, only the white people can play the whiteies, uh, in in the the this fictional movie like why but yeah i would agree these stories should be explored more so i i agree with that point i would binge watch that the founding story of the mali empire for instance with a realm divided into 16 provinces with presiding lords in a sort of pseudo byzantine thema type hierarchy now, is that something we are ever going to see? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know if that would sell. And of course, these productions need to sell. I understand that. So they choose the War of Troy. Here's the thing. If they really cared about showing real cool warriors as African, black African warriors, then why didn't they talk about Memnon, for example, or some of the actual Ethiopian black warriors who are part of the story, but everybody ignores. And just to say, this Memnon is said to be as strong of a warrior as Achilles is. So equal cool but no you gotta take achilles because he's the cool guy he's the one the cool kids like and you no no he's he's the oh, okay yeah well you gotta blackwash him because it's more reggie <sighs> and it's what you do now you just take famous characters and blackwash them and just just before i get um, misunderstood i'm against whitewashing too but who cares about what homer said right when he describes him achilles as being very young looking even for his age with long blonde hair and armored so well that not many parts of his body okay, were actually so he visible was actually depicted. yeah but death of the author i'm sorry homer doesn't get to decide anymore the guy's been dead for like a thousand years two thousand so both of these are actually not good representations of Achilles, but this one is further away, and it's getting to that point because of all the wrong reasons, and this is what I'm attacking. Okay, so I... I have things that I agree with there, and I have d things to disagree with. Like, they could have... They, they could have had... Like African warriors, then why didn't they talk about Memnon, for example? They could have used Memnon. So yeah, I agree with that. However, they needed to... I, I haven't seen this thing even. So I guess they needed to sell the thing at some point. And it's not that Achilles is cooler, it's that he's more famous. And I don't think that they... I have a feeling they weren't like, we need a black person. Like, I have a feeling they didn't do that, do it that way. Because that seems oddly specific in the, the casting. Parts of his body were actually visible. So both of these are actually not good representations of Achilles, but this one is further away. But it looks cooler. And it's getting to that point because of all the wrong reasons, and this is what I'm attacking. Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to continue this because it's a... 
four year old video and we have our, our documentary to get to but um fuck I was I was talking about something but I I can't remember Uh, 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 um. Sorry about that. No, it's it's fine. I I do enjoy. I have to point this out. I really enjoy the fact that you managed to get me a little bit animated because I'll you know I hope you stick around in my chat for as long as I stream, like in the future, because I need someone to fight with. <laughs> And, you know, I I do get where you're coming from. Please do not misunderstand me. I, I understand. I just don't care. <laughs> like, like, I just don't care about the ethnicity thing because... I think it's really weird to, to draw the line at the ethnicity. I think that shows an underlying bias. Now, we all have underlying biases... But I think that's an underlying bias that that uh, yeah, I'm Asian. I don't care about white or blacks. Yeah. Oh, are you saying you don't care about the blacks? That's very racist of you, Nightingale. <laughs> like no one fucking cares about the whites, but not caring about the blacks. That's that's quite insensitive of you. Um, <laughs> fuck, there was something I was going to say, but I, I sort of lost it in the whole Metatron thing. Oh, yeah, no, we have been ruling the world for forever, so not caring about us is just, you know... The fish don't care about the water they swim in. Um, yeah, I guess I just don't care about like... Um, I don't see an issue with like gender bending or race bending or anything like that. I think it... Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like the, the elves and whatnot in the new... Uh, um, Lord of the Rings thing like the authors of this things have been dead for forever and pff, artists have always been taking their, their freedoms with their source materi material so it's fine it's like if you don't like it then yeah I just like happen to be like to like history I'm guessing yeah um, I mean but if you like history, then a fantasy show isn't where you're going to find that. So, you know. I, ho I hope you understand my point that in a movie where a, a mythical warrior shows up and hangs out with, with like historical figures... I hope you see my point that it's a little bit weird to be like why is this mythical person not in the correct race? I just think that's a little bit weird. Didn't like the new trailer of Lord of the Rings series because there was no bearded dwarven women. But Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was weird. And especially like since... If they had had a bearded dwar dwarven woman, you know, they, they could have actually scored more diversity points in that direction. Uh, so I thought that was weird. Um, I think I didn't like the trailer thing because it looked cheap. I'm probably going to try to watch it, but if it's bad, it's bad. Tolkien especially said dwarven women were bearded. Yeah. But again, the guy's dead. He's been dead for like a long time. When did he die? J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh yeah, I remember now what I was actually going to say. 73, Jesus Christ. I, I, I actually remember what I was going to say. Um, 
Uh, have you heard about Hamilton, the musical? There's a little bit of delay, so I'm just going to wait for you to answer. I can probably show some of it. I don't have enough viewers. Okay, Hamilton. Uh, stage performance uh, trailer. Yeah, I guess we can do this one. So this is about the founding fathers of America. A lot of people on the left don't like this. Because they don't like Lynn manuel Miranda, but I I think it's pretty awesome, so he's a good musician. But yeah. Oh shit, this is sped up. So the point is, every character in this thing, everyone playing the, the founding fathers in this musical are played by people of color. And I think that's fine. I don't see an issue with it. And I think it's weird to be like, oh yeah, no, they're not ethnically correct. Who the fuck gives a shit? We're all people. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I think it's a pretty cool musical, even if Everyone on the left fucking hates this thing now. Um, so yeah.